In this video, I just want to introduce the idea of orbit. Um, the basic idea behind orbit is that you've got this satellite, of, and then the satellite in this case has a very, very small mass, okay? Um, so that it doesn't actually make the central body move. Now, in reality, like the moon actually makes the Earth move quite a bit. This is why there's a couple tides a day, okay? Um, but anyway, the, the um, let's have this satellite be very, very small, and this one be very, very large. The satellite moves with some velocity, right? That's its tangential velocity. It also moves with a period, right? That's our period, okay? Um, and the basic idea behind orbit is that the force of gravity that's acting between these objects, okay, that force this that you find with this formula, that's what causes it to undergo a centripetal acceleration, okay? So when we set up these equations for, for orbit, Okay, we're setting the force of gravity equal to a centripetal acceleration. Well, here's how you calculate centripetal acceleration, where that acceleration is either this guy, right, or it's this guy, right? So the very first one that we do is if we have the, if we're using this one, right? If we're using this for our centripetal acceleration, this is the satellite mass times V squared over R, right? This thing here is our, our centripetal acceleration, right? Equals the force of gravity, right? And then the other possibility is that we don't know the velocity, but we know the period, right? Okay, and so in that case, we've got, this is basically m times a. This is m times a, right? So the, the centripetal force equals the force of gravity. The centripetal force equals the force of gravity, okay? So these are not formulas that are in our data packet. These formulas are in the data packet, and you have to be able to generalize. You have to be able to think, okay, force of gravity equals centripetal force, which is m times a, and then you choose which a to put in there. Okay, so it looks like this giant complicated formula, but it's really, we're just saying that the force of gravity equals ma, okay? In the next examples, I'll show you what I mean, how to solve these problems, okay?